what's poppin' Jin Bob here going today with Cooking Mama. Not actually, this is Killing Mama. Mama kills animals. So this is sort of like a bootleg game that was made by PETA in an attempt to try and get people, I guess, to go vegetarian. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. I know it's a bit of a controversial opinion for some people, but I'm not a vegetarian. I like eating meat. And I, I just find displays like this to be a little silly. I apologize to any vegans or vegetarians out there. It's not that I think your lifestyle is bad or you make poor choices or anything. I just happen to like meat. Even if you guys are objectively wrong, I can't force you to believe in what's right. So, nah, I'm kidding. But for serious, like games like this are absolutely ridiculous, which is why I wanted to check one of them out today. I know PETA has done stuff like this before. So let's go ahead and take a look at Cooking Mama, Mama Kills Animals. Which, um, my mom wouldn't hurt a fly. I've never seen her kill anything. So let's go ahead and see a Thanksgiving feast. Oh, I love Thanksgiving feast. All right, so first we got to prepare the turkey. I love how disgruntled and sleep deprived she looks. All right, pluck the turkey. Click on the feathers with your mouse to pluck them from the dead turkey. Okay. Well, I mean, normally you already buy a turkey with all the stuff done, but... Okay. Yep. Put some blood in there and stuff, because why not? Of course, that's appropriate. What if I just didn't do anything? Done! There's still like a bunch of feathers on there! Alright, remove the internal organs. Using your mouse, stick your hand inside the turkey, remove the organs, and place them in the mixing bowl. Which doesn't make sense because people don't eat the organs of a turkey. They normally pull those out and throw them away. Actually, you know what? Most people just buy a turkey that's already been pre-prepared by the store. I guess if it's cooking mama though, you gotta go for the best quality and you always gotta get them fresh. So, um, let's go ahead and yank out all the innards. Here's that and whatever that is. Uh, I mean, hey, he's not using them anymore. He's not gonna need those. And that, and there's also like one other organ in here, I guess. I missed one! I'm gonna redo that, I'm gonna redo that. I missed one. I don't want there to be giblets in my turkey. That and there we go. Haha! -ha! Nice and clean. You know what's gonna be really, really aggravating is if I play this game and it's, it gets copyrighted by Nintendo. Even though it's not a Nintendo game, but it's a parody of a Nintendo game and whatever. I'm just here to make some food. I want to enjoy my Thanksgiving meal. Oh, hey, I got the chicken ready. In the U.S., almost all birds have their throats slit while they're still conscious. And according to the USDA, millions are scalded to death in tanks of hot water. One thing that I do know is, uh, I watched this on, I, I don't remember what show it was. I think it was The F Word by Gordon Ramsay. But, uh, when they take pigs into the slaughter, they have, uh, they run electronic currents through their brains, which paralyzes them and makes it so that they can't feel any pain. And then they cut the throats. And I guess that's still a little bit morbid, but it's supposedly the most humane way to uh, put the pig out of its misery. All right, next is to stuff the turkey. That is some not very appealing stuffing. All right, so crack the eggs. Use your mouse to put the, the eggs, crack them, deposit them in the bowl. Okay. Eh. Eh, there we go. Eh. Ha <laughs> ha. Is there blood in these? I'm really not buying very good quality eggs if that's the case. Haha! I'm this game, I guess, is just trying to make everything about cooking seem more juvenile and disturbing than it actually is. What kind of fucking eggs have blood in them? If you buy eggs and there's blood in them, you should probably ask for a refund. Or not, I don't know, maybe you're Dracula and you enjoy a little bit of iron in your diet. I, I'm not one to judge. All right, mix the ingredients. So I gotta put all this in here, then that in there, and then that in there, and then stir. Yay! That does not look very appealing. If you ever get stuffing for your Thanksgiving dinner and it looks like that, you have done something horribly, horribly wrong. All right, stuff the bird, grab the stuffing, and then, okay. So I got to stuff the turkey in there, haha. -ha. I like how it like gradually expands with stuffing as you put more in. I wish my turkeys did that for Thanksgiving. Then I get more food. Oh, well, then again, I always eat too much during the holidays anyways. Actually, I just sort of eat too much in general. Yeah, come off, damn you! There we go! Like, is this actually supposed to convince people to become vegan or something? Because, alright, as someone who likes to cook moderately once in a while, I actually do some cooking at home. I can tell you firsthand that cooking is not anything like this. 
I can't get over the fact that there was blood in the eggs. Nice and cooked and stuff. And that is not what a Thanksgiving turkey looks like. If your Thanksgiving turkey turns out like that, um, don't ever cook again. <laughs> Please, for the sake of your health, everyone else's health, and culinary, like, arts as a whole, do not ever touch another piece of food if you try to cook a turkey and it looks like that. All right, turkeys are drugged and bred to grow so quickly that their legs cannot support their weight. Countless birds slowly starve to death within inches of food after they become crippled and are unable to move. I think this is partially true because I know, um, sadly, I think some chickens are fed a lot of growth hormones, which makes them grow too quickly and it breaks their legs. I don't think this is entirely true, though, because... Well, starving to death doesn't make any real sense because a company's interest is to keep their livestock alive and fed because, well, that's how they make money. If all of your merchandise is dying and they don't have any food in their bellies and they're not, you know, properly grown and fed and healthy enough to be edible, then you can't really sell them and you can't really turn them into meat. Again, this game speaks through hyperbole, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but a lot of these things are sort of like half-truths that have been exaggerated to the point of just being a little bit juvenile. But last things last is I need the, uh, the giblet gravy, which I don't think that's how gravy's made. I think gravy is made from drippings mixed with all sorts of other stuff. I don't know. I make mostly Asian food. All right, so I gotta cook cut this guy up you know this is actually a little bit easier than actual cooking there we go i didn't cut it all the way through i love the sparkle in her eyes and just the way she looks so happy about being here you can tell that cooking mama or killing mama whichever you prefer is very passionate about what she does she just loves culinary arts and food look at that smile on her face look how excited she is Someday I hope to be cooking with that same sort of vigor. All right, saute the body parts. Turn on the oven burner, use the mouse to click on each ingredient and add it to your pan. Use the mouse to grab the handle of the pan and saute by holding the pan and moving your mouse back and forth. Okay, so I gotta basically dump everything in the pan and then put the pan. Oh, wait a minute, I'm supposed to do this first. There we go. Then the butter and the thing and the thing and the thing. And then I, yeah, yeah, gravy. Gravy! G great gravy! Yeah! That gravy is looking kind of lumpy. You should probably take all that other stuff out before you actually serve it. Move the body parts from the gravy. Careful, it's hot. Alright, so this is the part where I get rid of all the other stuff. I like how I just reach in and pluck them out as if there's nothing wrong with that. This is not straining. This is sticking your hand into the sauce and pulling out bits. I like cooking. I actually like food and I like cooking. I watch so many cooking shows in my spare time, which is part of the reason why I'm always hungry. But this is not what cooking is like. Even the slightest, even vegans who cook would not have something so catastrophically horrible happening in their kitchen. I mean, this game put blood in the process of cracking an egg. The most innocent process I can think of, cracking an egg, and they made it into this horrible thing. God damn it, PETA. Complete! Aren't you supposed to pour it over the turkey, though? All right, whoever made this game, and whoever's from PETA who came up with this idea, please never touch a cooking utensil ever. Every year in the U.S., 300 million turkeys are killed for their flesh. Almost all spend their entire lives on factory farms and have no federal legal protections. Again, I'm sure some of this has, is truth and some of it is exaggeration because, well, that's sort of what PETA does. One thing I do wish to state, though, is if you are concerned about the life quality of your food, which, you know, I guess some people have ethical concerns about that, um, I would highly recommend going to... I don't know if you guys have Whole Foods all over the country, but I know in... This part of the country, there are stores called Whole Foods, and they buy from local farmers and ranchers. And all the food there is grown organically, and all the chickens are, are usually free range. Which is to say, they're given free range to walk around, move, they're given a more humane lifestyle before they're led to the slaughterhouse and brutally killed for our consumption. It's about twice as expensive as normal chicken, but hey, if you really, if you are going to make it an ethical issue and you still want to eat chicken, well, that's a pretty decent alternative. Thanks to you, Mama has had a change of heart and she's gone vegan. 
Look, I like tofu as much as anyone else. In fact, I love tofu, but I also like meat. In fact, one of my favorite dishes is mapo tofu, which is tofu and meat. Which, in my opinion, is perfection next to perfection. Why have one when you can have both? All right, so now we get to actually make some tofu, I guess. So first things first, we mash the tofu by clicking on it repeatedly, I guess. I cook with tofu pretty often, so... Um... I don't normally mash my tofu like that. All right, maybe I'm just like cynical or maybe I'm like some sort of horribly corrupted meat-minded asshole, but something about shaping tofu into the shape of a turkey and then passing it off as a Thanksgiving turkey seems horribly wrong and dishonest to me. Like this seems worse <clears throat> than actually killing the turkey. Are we? spraying coloring onto it this is soulless and horrible and cruel i can't bear to see food be treated like this cook your tofu turkey okay so we're gonna go ahead and turn the oven on and now we got sort of this other thing that's it kind of reminds me of soylent you guys know soylent the whole like soy based product where you only need to drink soylent and you don't need to eat anything else and it apparently it's not made from people i don't know just all right let's see what's it say turkeys have unique personalities just like dogs and cats some are social while some are loners people who live with turkeys in animal sanctuaries report that they even have varying taste in music to be fair in some parts of the world and in ancient cultures people ate dogs and cats too because of you Mama loves animals. I love animals too. I just happen to like eating some of them. Now that you've seen just how gross it is to kill an innocent turkey, which I i mean, none of us, nobody actually kills a turkey for Thanksgiving. We just buy one that's already dead. All right, so if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, again, I'm not criticizing your life choices. In fact, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan and you're very comfortable and happy with the choices you've made, I applaud you and all the more power to you. But don't let people tell you what lifestyles you should live and don't let people exaggerate the truth to try and convince you on what you should believe let's be real here if we weren't raising those turkeys and killing them they'd probably get killed by some other natural predator out there in the wild who don't give a fuck how humanely their prey is gonna die is it bad that this video actually made me a little bit hungry? But all right, you guys, that was, I guess, Killing Mama. If you guys like this video, like this commentary, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It means a lot to me, and I'd love to see you guys again in future videos. Seriously, this game is taking something as innocent and harmless as a Thanksgiving dinner and just turning it into this horrible, stupidly exaggerated nonsense. Shame on you, PETA. In fact, just to show you what's what, I'm going to go outside and punch the first puppy I see. But anyways, until the next video, guys, thanks again so much for watching. Goodbye.